Let's get to that market uh, because technology just seems to be taking over. It's been that way, I think, for a couple of years. Market watcher Christian Magoon is with us. Christian, it, it just seems to me like technology, in pri primarily the big name technology companies, they are the only game in town. Where am I going wrong with this? Technology continues to lead, Stuart. They have the best earnings growth. We talked about it on the show right before last earnings season. They're going to be up uh, over 25% year over year. And the market just seems to love technology. But that's a bit of a problem because we need some of these other sectors to participate for the market to truly be healthy. Um, I take it you own these big tech stocks within your organization. Full declaration. Go ahead. That's right. We do own many of these stocks within our Amplify ETF suite. Many of them are in our online retail or blockchain ETF. Okay. Tell me, where else can I make some money? If I've got some cash that I want to put into the market now, just supposing I did, where would I put it if it's not big tech? Yeah, so I think a related play to look at is battery, metals, and materials companies. Uh, these are uh, the companies Hold that on a second, are Christian. really... What is it? Did you yes. say battery? Yes, I did, Stuart. <laughs> Tesla? Yeah, so, I mean, Tesla is getting a great lift today because of some of their battery news. And mm. this is a classic supply and demand story. There's a new gold rush happening, and that's in battery metals. Lithium, cobalt, nickel, manganese, companies that mine these uh, metals, uh, that recycle these metals, are in high demand. China is trying to buy them. Companies like Tesla and Apple are trying to secure their supply. We think this is a great area for investors to diversify. If you like tech, you should love the underlying metals that power today's technology, and that are, that's these battery metals. We've launched an ETF that tracks this segment, ticker BATT. So I take it you have, you do own Tesla stock? We don't own Tesla oh, okay. stock in this case because Tesla actually doesn't own the underlying battery metals and materials. They've developed a great battery technology, but if they don't have the supply, they're going to be hurt. We really want to own the underlying supply chain, not necessarily the end user. All right. We hear it yet again. It's a battery-driven market. Well, not entirely, no, but batteries but. <laughs> are important. I think we can say that. Christian, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon. Got it.